Good morning everyone and thank you for joining me on my YouTube and Rumble channels this morning. Today is May 15 of 2023. I'd like to bring another prophetic word to you from the Lord this morning. Before I begin, I would just like to give the explanation for the sunglasses. As many of you know, I have undergone eye surgery in the last few days and with that I need to be wearing the sunglasses to restrict the brightness of lights. So my hope is that they will not distract you from listening to the message the Lord has for us today. I thank you for your prayers regarding this surgery and I am praying for a quick recovery with no complications. And so I thank you for your prayers as well for a good report. Also, I would like to take a minute to apologize for any excessive noise in the background as construction is resuming around me at this time. A welcome to all of you who are new to my channel and a thank you to those who are returning. I pray the Lord will bless you as you hear the message today. I have no long introduction for this word, except to say that it is another word encouraging us to have our eyes focused on Jesus and on his return. This word today is titled, The Day of the Lord. I'll begin it by reading scripture. Acts 2 verses 19 through 21. I will show wonders in the heavens above and signs on the earth below, blood and fire and billows of smoke. The sun will be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the great and glorious day of the Lord. And every one who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. This scripture passage points us to a time called the day of the Lord that will come ushering in Jesus' return to earth with signs and wonders in the heavens and in the earth. 1 Corinthians 1, 7 through 9. Therefore, you do not lack any spiritual gift as you eagerly wait for our Lord Jesus Christ to be revealed. He will also keep you firm to the end so that you will be blameless on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful, who has called you into fellowship with his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. This scripture passage encourages us that we will be blameless on the day of the Lord and his return. I'll begin reading this word. All heaven declares the glory of the risen Lord. Trial and tribulation, as the world has never known, is being released into the earth. I have put my hand to the plow, says the Lord, and I am plowing up the ground in the hearts of the people. My vengeance is being displayed, for I desire to bring a harvest of souls into my vineyard. This is the day of Jacob's trouble. This is the day when the plowman shall overtake the reaper. I have dispensed my balm of Gilead upon my people. I have anointed them with oil and equipped them for such a time as this. They shall bring healing to the nations in my name. They shall go into the harvest fields and anoint the sick and broken and they shall be raised up into life. This is a day like no other. No other day in history has undergone the great anointing I am releasing in this day, says the Lord. Limbs shall be joined, flesh shall be formed, and the dead shall rise to their feet, 
to proclaim the goodness of God. I am raising an army from the valley of dry bones. I am coming with resurrection life, and the dead shall rise. This is the day of the great deluge. The whole earth shall be filled with the glory of the risen Lord. Resurrection Life I am raising the dead breathing life into them and marching them out in the power of the Anointed One. Resurrection Life This is the day when the dead in Christ shall rise into everlasting life. Many doubt, many scoff, but many are being raised into newness of life, says the Lord. This is the day of the Great Awakening. Awake, O sleeper, rise from the dead, and my light shall shine upon you. Cataclysmic events are to follow. I will guide and direct my army of light through the land. I shall give instruction. Tune your ears to hear. Open your eyes of understanding. Rise up in the power of my spirit and take the land. Go in and possess the land. I am taking the city. The walls have come down and the army of God shall move in and gather the spoil. The shaking will bring down hierarchies of power. I am shifting ground. I am taking down the world's system. I am shaking loose the powers of darkness. I shall have no other gods before me, says the Lord. Rise up, my people. Come into place in my end-time army. For all the powers of darkness are being shaken, and enemy territory is being invaded. The armies of the world have declared war on my elect, and I am leading my army through the land and into enemy territory. Do not be afraid but advance onto enemy ground with great resolve. This is the culmination of the age. This is the end of the age. All the earth shall recognize my authority. All the kingdoms of the world shall fall, for I am declaring the end of all things. My kingdom shall stretch from sea to sea. My authority shall be established in the earth, and all the people of the earth shall come and bow down at the foot of the cross. History is being made. His story is being fulfilled. Greater love has no man than that he lay down his life for his brother. This is the day when those who have laid their lives down will gain life, eternal life with the Father and Son. Declare the day of the Lord, for it has come and no man is able to escape it, says the Lord. In this word today, the Lord is encouraging us that the day that we have longed for, the day for the Lord to display His power and might in the earth, has come. In this day of His power, we will see resurrection life. Those who have been dead in their sins will be brought to life. Even those who have died will be raised to life. We will see the signs and wonders the scriptures speak of in these last days. Signs and wonders that we have never seen before. The Lord is encouraging us to rise up out of our slumber, to rise up in the power of His Spirit, to take the land back from the enemy. He is telling us that the enemy has declared war on his people. 
and he is rising to the challenge in this day to defeat the enemy once and for all. The Lord is telling us that he is declaring the end, the falling of the kingdoms of men, and the instituting of the kingdom of God throughout the whole earth. The Lord has anointed us with his power. He has equipped us for such a time as this to bring healing to the nations in his name. And so, although the day of the Lord is a day of power, the day of the Lord is a glorious day of harvest of the nations and the extension of the kingdom of God throughout the earth. I hope this word today encourages all of you who are listening that the time is drawing near for the glory of the Lord to be dispersed throughout the earth and the demonstration of the kingdom of God will manifest in our world. Be encouraged, be enlightened, rise up and declare the goodness of God in this day. Thank you for listening today. Have a great afternoon and I look forward to being with you again in the next video. Love and blessings in the name of the Lord. Bye for now.